Inflation has cooled to 1.3% in December of 2023 compared to the year before, but that doesn't mean that your eyes are not popping out of your head at the checkout. A Wink News consumer reporter Andrana Shepard explains why prices are still up. We've experienced a lot of sticker shock trying to put food on the table over the last couple of years. They're all going up. We notice it. You come to the store this week, it's four dollars. You come next week, it's six. Grocery shopping has went up quite a little bit. Walmart's Publix, no matter where you go. But is there hope for 2024? FGCU economist Dr. Victor Clark says although inflation isn't at record highs anymore, that doesn't mean prices are coming down. They're still going up just not as fast. Prices are at an all time high. Should we get used to these high prices? Yes, these higher prices are the new normal. For more than two years now, I've tracked the same 10 grocery items at the same Publix, Walmart and Target. And Nature's Own Butter Bread has only gone up. In January 2022, a loaf was $3.44. It went up about 40 cents a year later. Now a loaf is 4.11. It's a different story for groceries over at Target and Walmart. They look to be coming down. Back in January 2022, this 18 count carton of eggs cost $2.79 at Target. A year later, in January 2023, they jumped to $4.39. Now they're actually cheaper than they were two years ago. They're down 10 cents to $2.69. A gallon of milk from Walmart in January 2022 would set you back 388. A year later, 322. Now a gallon costs 316. It's only six cents, but at least dairy isn't milking more out of your wallet. Andriana Shepard, Wink News. Anna, thanks. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates 11 times in an effort to cool inflation down. The board initially thought that it could stop raising rates and potentially cut them later this year. But now that overall inflation went up 3.4, another interest rate hike is possible. And with that, it's going to impact your credit card, your mortgage, and credit card payments as well.